On Tuesday, April the 11th, Russia actually blocked the work of the UN Green Corridor. As part of the treaty, representatives of Russia, Turkey and the UN inspected ships on their way to Ukrainian ports and back. On that day, Ukraine submitted the names of three bulk carriers in queue. The Russian side crossed them out and introduced their own options. As a result, 50 ships were at the inspection. Today we are in a critical situation. The Russians have breached the terms of the Black Sea Grain Initiative. They decided to unilaterally change the plans of Ukrainian ports. This is unacceptable. Yuri Vaskov, Deputy Minister of Development of Communities, Territories and Infrastructure of Ukraine, in an interview with The Guardian. Blockages in the wake of the Green Corridor led to the fact that Ukraine was forced to reduce grain exports. From April the 3rd to the 9th, 16 ships were loaded in the ports of Odessa region. A week earlier, there were 20 bulk carriers. Thus, in the 36 week of work, the average daily rate of passing inspection ships was 2.3. At that time, the maximum average daily inspection rate was 5.5 ships per day. From the report of the Ukrainian Club of Agrarian Business. According to the UN, most of the Ukrainian grain is sent to the countries of Asia and Africa, and also to Spain, Italy and the Netherlands. Russia's attempts to prevent the export of Ukrainian grain through the Black Sea could affect food prices in the world again. They can grow up to 15 percent. To avoid this, Ukraine immediately discussed the actions of the Russians with Turkey and the UN. The very next day, on April the 12th, the work of the Black Sea port was unblocked. According to our colleagues at the Joint Coordination Centers, uh, they tell us that routine inspections under the Black Sea Grain initiatives were conducted today uh, following intensive discussions uh, within the uh, framework of the JCC, supported obviously by ourselves and by Turkey. Uh, our message is clear is that we urge all involved to meet their responsibilities to ensure that vessels continue to move smoothly and safely in the interest of global food security. As part of the Grain from Ukraine humanitarian program of the Ukrainian president, Kenya has received tens of thousands of tons of wheat to fight a drought that threatens the lives of millions of people. Since November 2022, the program has delivered more than 140,000 tons of wheat to African countries in need. The Black Sea Grain Initiative slashes global food prices. It calms market volatility. It ameliorates global food insecurity. And it saves lives. It must continue reliably and sustainably. Since August the 1st, 2022, according to the Minister of Development of Communities, Territories and Infrastructure of Ukraine, Oleksandr Kubrako, Ukraine has already shipped 24 million tons of agricultural products as part of the Green Treaty. At the same time, the main challenge for the initiative is to speed up inspections in Turkey. This will allow the world to get even more Ukrainian agricultural products. We also continue to work on involving the ports of Mykolaiv region to the Green Initiative and expanding the cargo range. Alexander Kubrakov, Minister of Development of Communities, Territories and Infrastructure of Ukraine, on Facebook. On March the 18th, the Green Initiative was extended for 120 days, although the Russian side stated that it agreed to only half of this period until May the 18th, so Russia continues its blackmail, but so far unsuccessfully. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stenhelo, UATV News.